Hey everybody, this is Lisa Freeman here from stampingwithlisa.com and I'm bringing you a new video today. I wanted to show you a quick video on an easy way to use your Stamparatus to make a really simple Christmas card. And this is the card I'm gonna be showing you today. It is so easy and if you haven't used your Stamparatus yet and you have one and it's still in the box, this is a great way to try it out and you're gonna be so amazed at how easy it is. You're gonna just be like, wow, I can't believe I haven't tried it yet. So let me show you how to do it. Um, first of all, you're gonna need your Stamparatus and you're gonna need a piece of the grid paper. If you don't have the new grid paper that came out, and I did this card before I ordered the new grid paper. So I just took a piece of our old grid paper and I cut it into quarters and just used the edge of it. So I had one edge up here against the um, right side and then the bottom part doesn't matter, but you just have to have an edge here. If you don't have grid paper, then just get some kind of um, like graph paper or something like that that has the squares on it. And you just wanna make sure you've got it about um, maybe an inch to three quarters of an inch away from the edge, because that's where we're gonna put our paper. And then you also need a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock, and this is eight and a half by five and a half. A piece of Sahara sand cardstock. This is five and a quarter by four. This is the Joyous Noel Designer Series paper. This is one and a half by five and a quarter. And this is in the Holiday Mini catalog on page 29. And this is a piece of the copper um, foil paper. And this is five and a quarter by um, a half of an inch. So those are the things you're gonna need. And we're just gonna set everything aside except for the Sahara sand piece. That's the one we're gonna be stamping on. So you need your Stamparatus right now. And what I like to do, oh, and here's the stamp set you're gonna need too. So this is um, Peaceful Noel, and this is from the Holiday Mini too. And we're just gonna be using the Noel right there. And that's also in the Holiday Mini. I don't know what page it's on though. All right, so we're gonna put our cardstock in here and we're not gonna line it up with the corner. That's what I do most of the time, but for this one, I don't want it right up against the corner. So I'm gonna line it up right here with that dark line and then put the magnet on it. And then you wanna ink up your Noel. And one tip I like to do is put something flat, like a stamp set that's perfect under here. That way it's not tilted down and it's easier to ink up your stamp so it's flat. So we're just gonna ink it up one time, really good. I did get a little bit right there, so I'm gonna just wipe that off with a paper towel. All right, so I'm gonna move that out of the way. All right, and get this right in the picture so hopefully you can see that. All right, so I'm gonna stamp it down and press it, and then lift it up. And then I'm lifting straight up, moving it down, and then I'm gonna press it again. And then lift it up, move it straight down. Oops. And lift it up. And I might need to move that magnet out of the way. Yeah, let's move that up. I'll try it again. That's the good thing with the Stamparatus. If you mess up, you just push it back down. And then lift it up one more time. And push it down. And that's it. That's how easy that card was to make. And then all you have to do is put it together. So that is like a one second card, literally. And I did try it, if you can see um, on the scrap paper here, I tried it with Merry Christmas first and um, I really didn't like that as much. I liked the Noel better all the way down. And you could put like Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas at the bottom, which I thought that would be a cute idea too. And I might try that on another card. So do the Merry three times and then Christmas, or you could do like Happy, Happy, Happy Birthday. I thought that would be cute. And I thought of those after I did this one. So I might go back and do the Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas. I thought that was a really cute idea. But anyway, that is a really cute idea for your Stamparatus if you haven't tried it yet. So after you do that, all you have to do is put it together. Let me close my ink pad. So just fold this in half. And you're gonna put these two pieces together first. And what I did was I just put a little bit of tape on the back of this. and just kind of slide it under here a little bit. So I've got it just like this. 
Oops, you don't want to get it crooked. Well, actually, I cut it a little crooked, so that would have helped, wouldn't it? It's hard when you're getting these little slivers to get them all straight. All right, and then just put some tape on the back of that. Well, you know what? The tape doesn't want to stick to that, so let's try some glue dots. And um, here's a little tip. When you're using glue dots, if you tie um, a little piece of ribbon around here like this, it helps from, you know how sometimes if you have glue dots, people will just, especially customers, if you're a demonstrator and you have customers, they'll just like pull this thing all the way out and have it unravel and there's glue dots everywhere. So this keeps it from unraveling so you can only do like one at a time. So I like that. So I'm just putting a couple glue dots here. Right on the edge. Oops, that one's not sticking either. Well, this foil paper does not want to stick to anything today. Come on. I'll just pick it off. I need my little pokey tool here. Okay, so we're just going to stick that down on here, right on the edge. Like so, and then just glue that down. Oops, that's crooked. I'm just crooked today. Okay, I put that on here. All right, flip it over and press it. All right, then we just need a little piece of ribbon. And this is the, um, let's see what it's called. Reversible ribbon, what is the name of it? Mary Merlot and Copper. So this is cool because it's two different um, colors. So one side is Mary Merlot. Well, I thought it was Cherry Cobbler. <laughs> Uh-oh, <What? laughs> it looks Cherry Cobbler. So I used it with cherry gobbler, but the other side is kind of a shimmery copper. So it really does look cherry gobbler. Well, nobody will know the difference. So I just tied it into a knot and just made a single knot like that and then just trimmed it and trim the other side. And see how one side shimmers and the other one doesn't? I think that's really pretty. All right, we're gonna get a glue dot for that one. Just stick it on there. Oops, that didn't want to stick either. Got that shimmer on it. All right, and then put it on your card. And I'm just gonna trim that just a little bit more. It kind of unravels just a little bit. Let's see. And don't cut your fingers. All right, and there you go. That took me less than five minutes and that was with talking. So if I didn't have to talk, I could probably have done it in less than that, but isn't that a quick and easy card? I just think it's so easy. So if you have not used your Stamparatus, you better get it out of the box and start using it because these are easy cards and it is really, really a fun tool to use. So go on YouTube and Pinterest and look up uh, ways you can use your Stamparatus because it's not gonna be worth your money if it's sitting in the box at home. So try this and some other fun things. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please leave a comment and let me know. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click the um, subscribe button below and um, hit the bell and you'll be notified when I make a new video. And thanks for stopping by. Have a great day, bye.